Hey guys, welcome to the ABCs of PT. Today we're going to look at the extensor mechanism in two different views and hopefully we get a full picture of what it looks like. view and then we also have we're gonna look at the side view here in a little bit so so first we're gonna draw extensor digitorum tendon inserting onto these transverse fibers of the dorsal hood and that also has oblique fibers so Let's label this. This is extensor digitorum. This is the dorsal hood, which has transverse fibers and oblique fibers. Okay, and then after the dorsal hood, we have the central band that crosses the PIP joint. And before it crosses the PIP joint, you have two lateral bands that come off and that insert to form together the terminal band. Um, let's show this a little different. So come together and form the terminal band. Um, And then you have this extra thickening here um, that looks like a triangle. And that's the triangular ligament. And this is the terminal band. And the central band. All right, and the coming off of here and wrapping around the other side is the oblique retinacular ligament and that's on both sides. Um, you'll be able to see that better when we get over here. So that's the oblique retinacular ligament. So that's just like the general idea on the dorsal view, the back side of the hand of what's going on. And now I think it'll make a lot more sense when we look at the side view. Okay, so we're gonna add in a couple more things that weren't on this one. So we have um, the tendon of flexor digitorum profundus making its way all the way to the distal phalanx. We have this thing, is, which is also new, which is um, an annular pulley, which is where this tendon goes through. This is called the annular pulley or the A1 pulley. Okay, so now we're going to add in what we have over here. So right over the MCP joint, we have the transverse fibers and the oblique fibers of the dorsal hood. And that's wrapping around the other side. Um, we have the tendon of extensor digitorum coming, inserting right here. And now we have the central band. So this is extensor digitorum tendon. Let 
This is the dorsal hood. This is the central band. And before it crosses the PIP joint, you have these lateral bands which come together and form the um, terminal tendon, terminal or the terminal band, either one, terminal band. And then this extra thickening here, which is called the triangular ligament. So now we just have to add some extra muscles that are super important in opening the hand. So the lumbricals come off of the flexor digitorum profundus tendon. I forgot to label that. So this is flexor digitorum profundus. So those are coming off of the tendon and landing onto the lateral band. So let's just start there. So this is, this would be the lumbricle. What else do we have? We also have the, um, the inner rossi and those are coming off of the metacarpal. So it depends on which side you're on, but if this was the third metacarpal, it would be um, dorsal inner rossi on either side. So this would be, that's a lumbrical, and then we have dorsal inter rossi. And the last super important element is the oblique retinacular ligament. This is the axis of rotation for the PIP joint. And when you, in order to get full extension, this oblique retinacular ligament, which attaches to the annular pulley, goes behind on the other side of the medial lateral axis, axis, and that's what allows full extension of your fingers. So this is the oblique retinacular ligament, and that is super crucial part in order to open your hand. And we'll get to that on Thursday, but I hope you guys found this video helpful in seeing the whole picture of a dorsal view and a side view of the extensor mechanism. See ya.